and you had these songs that were raw and pure and true. And now I read your books and it, it's more of the raw and pure and true. And I wonder, is there some level in you that is like trying to sustain this purity through your writing and rawness? Is that, am I getting that right? It's a good question, but like, you know, my friend, you know who Chris Brokaw is? I don't. He's, I don't know. I mean, indie music. Do you know this bug band Come? No. I've heard the word. Yeah. Um, cute. Real cute. <laughs> uh, but anyway, he's like, I think he's a wild artist. And he said to me one time, he's like, Joey, thank you. I appreciate your, uh, what did he call it? Bravery, I guess. But then he was like, he was also called me wild man. So I grew up listening to like whatever. Like music was always the thing, you know, being a teenager. And I always wanted to be a musician. That's why I moved to New York was to become a musician. And then also like I was in multiple bands. I'm still in bands. And like it's no, you know, you just get older and nothing changes except for like you just get older. And then, but there is this moment when like I realized that I got my rocks off more by writing than r making music. And I guess what you're saying is that it comes through is that like, yeah, you shouldn't take yourself seriously. And also like nobody's stuck where they're at. And the status quo is a bunch of fucking jerks, you know, it's impossible. I like it's impossible. Like the writing is like, what's great. I mean, it's kind of great about moving to Vermont is that it went from being like kind of being able to write to like being really able to write. And like for two years straight, like during the, the plague, the pandemic or whatever, I was writing every night for like more than three hours. And like I did, a, 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 I added it up one time. I was like, wow, that's like millions of words. And like, and I still don't like, there's still no end to it. And it's like, and I am refining it and I'm getting better at it as time goes by, but there is still so much to say that like, you know, that there's no way to, and the, in a way that like never comes across with music. And also the music kind of gets really irritatingly boring and old because you're just playing the same dumb songs all the time, the same dumb audience. And then it's like, you know, you can switch it up if you're, with your writing. Like, you know, I think a lot of people change their mind as they get older, not because they, like, they feel different. Is they get lazy, and there's no like, you just like, uh, you know, it's easier to give up than it is to give in. So, I mean, what, how do I say that better? It's easier to give up than it is to keep fighting. I guess. <laughs> Hi, this is Joey Truman coming to you straight out of the rocks in the Bighorn Mountains above Medlark. Talking to you about keeping it real for once and writing in the great American dream. <laughs> That's right. so good.